Differential pressure sensors, instead of differential pressure switches for filter monitoring, are a must for energy-optimized operation of a ventilation system. I'll explain why in this video. My name is Oliver Topf, and I'm the senior team leader of air handling units at Belimo. A modern air handling unit has various air filters, some of them multi-stage, which filter impurities and dirt particles from the air. For hygienic and energy purposes, these filters must be replaced at fixed intervals or as required, that is, when the filters have reached a certain pollution degree. The condition of each filter must therefore be monitored. Let's take a look in our air handling unit. A simple solution for applications with constant volumetric flow is the differential pressure switch. As soon as the air handling unit is running, the airflow volume creates a pressure drop through the filter or differential pressure. The pressure drop of a new filter is relatively small. The dirt particles present in the airflow accumulate in the filter over time. This causes the flow resistance to increase, thus the differential pressure as well. If a preset limit value is exceeded, the differential pressure switch will switch a contact. At the latest, the filter must be replaced when this so-called final differential pressure is detected. Still, the differential pressure switches are not practical for many applications, because, as required nowadays, ventilation systems are regulated. That means they supply only as much air as is actually needed in the building. The supplied airflow volume can therefore vary greatly and is usually below the nominal volumetric flow. At low volumetric flow, also the differential pressure at the filter is reduced. What does this mean in practice? Under partial load, the volumetric flow is reduced. Depending on this, the pressure drop of the filter is also reduced. However, with a differential pressure switch, the fixed limit value refers to the higher nominal volumetric flow. This is never reached under partial load. The actual final differential pressure at partial load at the filter may, therefore, have been exceeded long ago without the differential pressure switch detecting a dirty filter. So, we see that if the air handling unit is controlled as required, a differential pressure switch is not suitable for monitoring the filter. In these partial load operations, the differential pressure must be measured continuously in order to reliably assess the condition of the filter. This requires a differential pressure sensor instead of a differential pressure switch. A differential pressure sensor continuously measures the pressure drop through the filter, even when the air handling unit is at partial load. Depending on the measured volumetric flow, the final differential pressure also changes dynamically. If the differential pressure exceeds this limit value, a necessary filter change can be reliably indicated. To decide whether a switch or a sensor should be used, the intended operating mode of the air handling unit must be taken into account. In summary, the following three points are decisive. Differential pressure switches are suitable for filter monitoring air handling units with constant volumetric flow. Differential pressure sensors always show the current differential pressure in any operating situation. And if the differential pressure and the airflow volume are known, then the condition of the filter can be reliably assessed even at partial load. 